Have you ever heard of the Taeguki Rally? Taeguki is what we call the Korean national flag, so it's not that surprising to see them waving it. But have you ever wondered why they would wave American flags alongside Korean ones? Who are these people, and what do they want to say? They are classified as the far right political group, which includes supporters of the former impeached President Park Geun hye. To understand this group, we asked Professor Yang Myungji, Associate Professor of Political Science at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, to explain how South Korea's political dynamic is different from that of the West. So in the Western context, the ways in which the right and left are defined uh, is mainly based on their ideas about capitalism and how the politics can intervene in uh, social inequality or gaps. But in South Korea, those uh, classic sense of definition would not work well because of the particular historical structural conditions um, in the Korean Peninsula. The factor of North Korea is really important in fundamentally shaping South Korean politics. The biggest difference between the left and right is whether they want to engage with North Korea. The right is extremely skeptical about this engagement. I mean, uh, there are some differences in terms of economic aspects. So the left support more like government regulation in the market system, support the idea of providing social safety nets, etc. Conservatives uh, would argue less intervention, less government intervention in the market system and lower taxes for the rich, etc. But it also depends on different time, who the president is. So. Uh, it's not as strong as the idea about North Korea. So, you know, there is the far right party technically, but I don't think it's powerful or hegemonic at all. But obviously, they will be uh, in line with the mainstream conservative party. The extreme right would adopt violent means and very authoritarian ideas, whereas mainstream conservatism. Uh, would still work within the boundary of democracy or democratic system. Then why is the U.S. an important factor here? So the U.S. United States is very important to Korean conservatives. Conservatives believe that the United States saved South Korea from the evil North Korea during the war and still protect South Korea from all the socialist systems such as China, North Korea. And then South Korea should maintain strong triple alliances uh, with the United States and Japan as well. Conservatives believe that Moon's gesture uh, to make negotiation with North Korea and China is overthrowing uh, the Republic of Korea. So for them, 
uh, is considered very dangerous in terms of foreign policy. The Taegeuki Rally used to belong to South Korea's older generation who witnessed a time when the country was once extremely poor and afraid of North Korea. However, we are seeing an increasing number of young people joining the crowd. What happened? When many people participated in candlelight protests five years ago, uh, these citizens had really high expectation about meaningful political social changes. The Moon Jae-in government um, uh, failed in addressing important social social economic agendas that they had promised five years ago. And then because of that, uh, many people are more disappointed, more frustrated with the current Liberal Party. And if you look at the conservative presidential candidate, his strong political base uh, is um, uh, young men in their 20s, which is very striking and interesting. So a lot of younger generations have resentment toward older generations. Uh, they believe that these older generation do not have uh, higher qualifications, but, but only like take advantage of their current positions. And then, you know, a lot of younger generation believe that these older generations are hypocritic, etc. That's why they are partly against the um, uh, Liberal Party. I think another uh, enemy or uh, their blame uh, is their young female counterpart. They believe that feminist idea basically, you know, ruins the idea of um, fair competition. You know, uh, they have these two main target groups that they project hate toward. And obviously the current conservative party is doing well uh, by capitalizing on these sentiments uh, shared by young men. Uh, I mean, this is very short-term resolution for their own, for their immediate political gain. So I think, you know, politicians have to have more responsibility about, you know, democratic ideas and they have to think further about how to address important socioeconomic agendas rather than, you know, using this kind of propaganda uh, more easily on their own side.